Well, hello there. Thank you for joining us here at Cool's Life. My name is Tony, and I'm here at Moorhaven Lodge number 61 in Moorhaven, Florida. I'm about ready to give you an inside tour of this lodge. Hmm, how about that? Uh, this lodge was established, it says there, 1921, but uh, with that low a number, it may have been a little bit before that. Well, but it's probably been in this building since 1921. Because this is a nice facility. If you like these videos, I've got a whole slew of videos in store for you. They are called uh, Masonic Videos from Around the Country. They're at Coolest Life. And all you do is click on the playlist and it'll say Masonic Videos from Around the Country. There's about 130 videos as of the making of this video. More to come, I'm sure. Not just lodge videos, but uh, but uh, Scottish Rite, uh, Shrine Centers, and some York Rite facilities. Anyway, but right now, come join us. We're going to go have some dinner and hopefully sit in lodge with these brothers. They're having installation. Hmm. Get back and record some of that. We'll see. Probably not. I'm going to give you a nice little tour of the inside of the building, though. Because you've just entered the coolest life, Masonic Edition. I do want to squeeze in this video here because uh, of the woodwork that you see. A lot of lodges you see, especially the newer lodges, basically all over the walls are uh, uh, drywall. So they got drywall and they got painted drywall, but not so much this lodge here. Lots of woodwork. It is real woodwork. It's just not stuck on there. It's not like a, this is not paneling, I should say. And then got some nice art pieces. Ooh, the waterfall. Hmm. But this is their dining hall here, and they can expand that way if needed, if they need to expand the dining room. But the, all the brothers that attend this lodge can, can sit here. Actually, we were pretty full in here today, so it was great. So they were nice enough to let, let us uh, turn out the lights so you can see some of the indirect lighting you've got. They got around the, the sides, and also these are, of course, from a distance, they actually look like flames. It's a really nice touch. You don't see that a whole lot. So upstairs, they've got uh, some of their past masters on the top. Sign-in books typically is there. And this is their apron holders here. I like that. Nice and high. You don't normally see them quite that high. Normally you see them as low as the table. But uh, I like these columns. It's a really a nice touch. Haven't seen columns like that in the lodge. They're actually built in. And here's a commemorative gavel, which is... Larger than most gavels, about twice the size of most gavels. But let's uh, let's go inside here. So we'll start like we normally do at the senior warden's desk. And something they've got that's really unique to this lodge is this. A really nice painting. Don't see that at most lodges. It looks really good. And you got your columns here, got your lily work, your celestial globe. And also I want to show you this staff here, the top of it. Typically most of these are pretty plain. It's got some ornateness to it there. It's a gold touch. Most of these I see are silver. Look at there, I almost missed the, uh, almost missed the clock. That's actual time, it is about 9.30. I typically do this after the, uh, 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 before the meetings, but this time here, I'm doing it before. Or I, I'm actually doing it after meetings now. Normally, I do it before. That's what I meant to say. This is the senior warden's desk. Got his desk there, his chair there. And here, especially when we're doing installations, they've got the, the, the marshal's baton, and marshal would normally sit here. Most marshals don't get used very much unless it's an installations. And you got the uh, point within a circle. And again, this is all I give. This is it's like metal right there. Sometimes you see those and you think, well, that's just a picture on the wall. But no, that's an actual. It's a physical. It's 3D. Some seating here. They've got a television here. So you you, know, you could do some exploration, some degree work. Sometimes we see there's tapestries on the wall that they may use or a, a flip chart, but it uh, looks like they've got a, actually got a television, a good-sized television here in the room. Here's some, like we saw this in the last lodge we just did a, a video of, the chapters from the Corinthian Ionic Doric Composite in Tuscan. 
Like we've seen this tapestry before. It's really nice. It's got nice colors to it. Here is a donation box. Excellent condition. I really like it. It's a nice touch. And I'm looking for a ballot box, but I don't see one. Now, the uh, master's also got um, the, the picture behind him also. It's just like the one at the other end. That looks really good. Another thing I noticed is these, uh, these two, the, <clears throat> the rough ashler and the perfect and or smooth ashler, are good size. Uh, I think I've seen a couple lodges where these were bigger. Most lodges you see are a whole lot smaller than this. Oh, oh look, he's found a ballot box for me. Wow, that one's got some age on it. You don't see that one very often. Wow, I said two pieces, two solid pieces. That's nice. Even, even the balls themselves, you can see here. Let's see if we've got some age on it. We have, of course, this is being a Florida where we use cubes just like they do in most other states. We use a black cube. But that's nice. That's a good touch. I love, I love ballot boxes. They're always so different <laughs> from <laughs> our brother here's our, our sitting secretary. I appreciate your help with that. That's, that's nice. And you see these on the front of uh, the others also. There's some nice embroidery here. It's not just a, something plain. We got our G up top. That's the charter there. And a fun fact about this particular yeah, lodge. Please do. Is we're now in what's Glades County, Florida. Mm -hmm. And this lodge was chartered in DeSoto County. Oh, okay. Back in uh, 1921. 1921. Is when it was chartered. Originally around Lake Okeechobee, there was only a few prominent uh -huh. counties. Uh -huh. And DeSoto County spanned along the west side of the lake gotcha until they divided up the different counties and we're now glades county but the charter still reads DeSoto county gotcha and uh, i noticed the number was 61 that tells me that should tell me that it's a it's an earlier lodge it was probably formed back in the 1800s i would think uh, being that low of a number no no what it is is they started reusing numbers oh okay at, at one point gotcha gotcha okay I like the, uh, I think I took a picture of the uh, the light center here. It says, you don't see a lot of this in lodges. That's, that's a nice set. I think more lodges should go to something like this. I see I see switches behind junior warden's desk, senior warden's desk, secretary's desk. They seem to be scattered all over, but, but it's like the secretary would have two, and then the junior warden would have two. It's, it's almost chaotic <laughs> where you see in most lodges. I like the tapestry there, too. Somewhat matches the one on the other side. No, it matches the one on the other side at all. It's actually a different design. Good look at this one we got. And here we've got the, the same basic set that you see all over in the senior warden's desk. Also, you got the, uh, this is an oil painting. This is not a lithograph. I really like that. It's a nice touch. Got that sheaf of wheat at the waterfall there. And last but not least, this is the uh, um, the altar, the holy altar here with the, with the three lesser lights to the side. They've got a nice drawer down here, down below. I don't see a lot of drawers in uh, in altars. Normally, I see sets of doors, and and this looks like a yeah. I've seen these Bibles like this. This has definitely got some age on it. I always like to open a Bible up just a little bit because sometimes you see something different. You can tell it's definitely a Masonic Bible. Uh, normally, you're going to see that in the first few pages. I see something about the presidents, and but that's a nice uh, ancient acceptor. This actually says Scottish Rite of Masonry. Um, Biblical Index of Freemasonry. That's nice. I want to get this first couple of pages here. But in the King Solomon's Temple. Yeah, we see those pictures a lot like that one. And again, you know, I, I've talked about some of these Bibles. Normally, you would get a Bible like this and you would give it to a brother, which is why it's actually got places where you could put their dates of when they became a Mason. So this would be their personal Bible. But uh, more personal Bibles today are about half this size that I they would give up. That's awesome. And I had it here the night that I was raised. Uh -huh. and all the brothers that were here signed. Right, yeah. Yeah, we definitely see that when we travel, that when, when you get a Bible. The day you were raised, you, the, the brothers that are in the lodge present that day get a chance to sign it and, and do all that. It's really nice. I like the uh, this 
the kneeling pad there too. Got some custom work. Mm -hmm. Cool. Just put that drawer down at the bottom. Does this probably open up? I no. I don't believe so either. Looks like it's, there's a light down in it, or maybe that's a reflection of that one. <laughs> it's a reflection of the above light. It's definitely a nice piece. And it goes, he tells me that the uh, the painting back here on, on the wall, uh, I think we saw this. I think LaBelle's got a painting in the corner somewhat like this. And I also think uh, Sarasota Lodge actually has got one in the corner right. itself. Bill Maddox, who painted mm -hmm. it, was a member of LaBelle Lodge. Gotcha. I don't know who painted this one here. So this is actual painting on the wall. That's why it's not framed or anything. It's actually physically on the wall there. It's really a nice touch. I like, I like to see features like this that you just don't find at other lodges. It really brings out the personality of the lodge itself. It makes, makes that lodge unique. So if you're ever in a, in, down here near Lake Okeechobee, which we are now, how far are we from Lake Okeechobee? Like eight miles or something? No, sir. A little, uh, little further than that? Less than a mile. Less than a mile. So we are less than a mile from Lake Okeechobee. And from, from what I could tell on the map, we're like, a, if, a, if you look at it as a clock, we're somewhere around 7 o'clock. You know, southwest corner of Lake Okeechobee. Exactly. Southwest corner of Lake Okeechobee. So you get a chance to come down to visit these brothers here at Moorhaven Lodge. Uh, definitely highly recommend it, especially if they feed you like they did us today with some steaks. It's probably not normal. This is installations. You get a chance to go to installations. Always take them up on installations because normally they eat better than they do most days. In most lodges. Not all lodges. But uh, sometimes you just get a lot of good food. But uh, definitely come visit these brothers. Uh, I'm sure they'll welcome you like they did me. Welcome, welcome me with open arms. And I really enjoyed the visit here. Uh, shook hands with some brothers I saw from LaBelle Lodge. You can check out that video right here. I'll put it right here in the, in the credits here and down below. So you can check out that video of the LaBelle Lodge. Be sure to like and subscribe, send this to your friends who are Masons, and uh, be, be sure and um, uh, let them know that there's other videos on the playlist, Masonic videos from around the country. Click on that, 130 videos, and a whole lot of them from right here in the state of Florida. Well, I'm going to get back out of here and, uh, and let you go, because uh, I want you to continue to live the coolest life, Masonic Edition.